Hey, hey, what's going on there, Facebook? I want to just drop in on you real quick today. And let me see. Let's talk about not being a cave man or a cave woman. I'm going to make this quick. Cave, obviously, is another acronym. So I want you to write this down, C-A-V-E. I'm going to talk real quick about what a cave is. I mean, you know what a cave is, but what the acronym means, and then how to get out the cave, all right? Real quickly. C, I'm just giving it to you real quick, and then we'll touch on them. Then we'll talk about how to get out the cave. C is confirmation. A is affirmation or approval. V is validation. And E is edification, right? Many of us, we live our lives with that being a driving force, if you will, behind pretty much everything it is we do. We're looking for other people to confirm us, to confirm our ideas or our dreams as if they have some greater insight or in knowledge about our life purpose and what we're here for greater than what we know for ourselves and the, the big issue with this is that when you do that or i do that any of us do that we are given control over our lives to other people and everyone has an agenda really people for the most part have two agendas the agenda they want you to know about and the agenda they're never going to tell you about and whenever we're looking for someone else to confirm us, to approve of us, or affirm us, or to validate us, or to edify us so that we can feel good about ourselves, we have, we have to understand that they're going to do that in a way that's going to serve their agenda, and them doing that is still filtered through their own life experience, right? And I can go into, and maybe I should, maybe at another time, go into all these different things, especially the edification, because people will edify you when it serves them, and then they're going to stop edifying you when it doesn't. You can see that in network marketing, for those of you that are in network marketing, right? That little triangulation, you know, oh, well, you're going to bring this person in, you're going to edify this person, this person. What's the, what's the agenda? The agenda for you edifying that per person is to what build up their authority and believability for the person that you're looking to get on products or to recruit. And those same people that have that interaction, let that personal relationship break down. And then what's going to happen to the edification? Edification is going to be gone right now. They're going to probably de edify or say something negative. So now you have to ask yourself, which part was true? What part of it was true? The good stuff you were saying or the bad stuff? Because from those of you that read scripture, you know bitter and sweet water can't come from the same brook, right? And speaking of scriptures, when it comes down to what other people think, read Psalms 146, I think it's verse 3 and 4. The scriptures clearly tell you that in that day, when man returns back to the dust, to the earth, which everybody goes back to the dust and the earth, in that day, his thoughts perish. So think about it. Another mere mortal man or woman, we're giving a great deal of power over our lives based on what they think, based on the firing of electrons in their own mind. A mind that is going to, at some point in time, shut off and the thoughts are going to perish, which means everything a person thinks about you, good or bad or indifferent, it's a perishable thought. But yet we live our lives as if what they're thinking about us matters in the big scheme of things. What someone thinks about you has no eternal implications whatsoever. So we need to stop living as if it does. So how do we get out of the cave? Well, let's use the same acronym. First thing is to see, get clear. Get clear on three things. Get clear on where you are versus where you really want to be and be honest with yourself. Get perfectly clear on what your strengths are and your weaknesses. And again, be honest with yourself and then get a clear plan on how you're going to leverage your strengths into closing the gap on where you are versus where it is you want to be. OK, I'm just getting back for the gym, so I may be a little I may be a little uh, toasty up in here. <laughs> right. So um, we want to get we want to get perfectly clear on that. Right. In a. We want to act based on what we want to create, not act based on where it is we are. A lot of us, we live our lives based on where we are. We don't live day to day based on where we want to be, right? If you go to the gym, it's like, hey, you know what? When I get fit, I'm going to start going to the gym. Nah, man, you got it backwards. You know the tail doesn't wag the dog. The results do not proceed the actions. We need to have the actions and the habits to produce the results. So whatever it is you're looking to create, Right. Remember, we go to we go to that C, you know, whatever it is you're clear on, you know, where it is you want to be. Right. 
whatever that is, we want to start we want to start living our life and scheduling our life today as if that's where we're at. What would you be reading if you were there? What would you be doing? Who would you be contacting if you were in sales, right? Or you are the absolute best salesman or best saleswoman. Who would you be calling on right now? Who would you have the confidence? What kind of accounts would you be calling on right now? Who would you be calling on? I want you to think about this. So the A is we want to act today based on what it is we want to create, not based on where it is we are. All right. The vehicle. Get a clear vehicle. Stop bouncing around and hopping from one thing to another thing and trying to do so many different things at one time. Right. The problem that a lot of people have, uh, excuse me, (laughs) a problem that a lot of people have is they're good at a lot of things, great at some things, but extraordinary at nothing. Extraordinary at nothing. Oh, man, I'm, I'm good at all of this and I'm great at this. But there's nothing you can nail down on that you've become extraordinary at. Or everybody wants, again, because we want to impress people, we want to act like we got a gazillion businesses that are doing a gazillion dollars. Dude, look, come on, stop kidding yourself. You look, Stop kidding yourself. If you want to run multiple companies, there's nothing wrong with that. But just understand, unless you're, a sol- you're solely an investor, meaning you're a financial backer, and you're not going to be having your hands in the business, meaning you're going to be hiring the teams, training the teams, providing the income, making sure you have the right talent and all the stuff in place, then yeah, you can invest in multiple companies. But if you were going to be an operator, you're going to be the strategizer, you're going to be the person that's there helping to scope and mold that business, you can only do but so many different things at one time. It is an illusion, just like the illusion of multitasking. There's no such thing. It's called task switching. It is an illusion to think that you can successfully build from scratch multiple companies simultaneously. It's just not going to happen, right? Just like you're deluded in thinking that, you'll be deluding all of your resources, your time, your effort, your energy, your, 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 your momentum. Everything is going to be diluted. Everything. So you want to focus on one thing, build that thing, and then leverage it. So find out what's going to be that one vehicle that you're going to start off with. That one vehicle, it doesn't mean it's going to be the only vehicle long term, but it's the thing that you're going to be looking at that you're going to be using to move forward. And then whatever skill set is required to make sure that you win, you're going to make sure you become extraordinary at it. Right. And then E, you want to execute. You want to execute daily. Execute. You're going to make your mistakes. That's cool. You make no mistakes if you make no execution. In fact, if you're not executing, that's the biggest mistake of them all. All right. So you want to execute every single day. Now, the whole idea here is to not try to resist uh, uh, seeking the approval of others or looking for people to edify us and confirm us and all that, because if we're resisting, we're still using energy. This is about pivoting our focus. I'm not going to be focusing on what anybody else thinks about me or says about me. I'm not going to be focusing on does this person approve of me? Does this, this person agree with me? It doesn't even matter. Right. Because you can talk to 100 people and different people are going to have different perspectives based on what their life experience and what their agenda is. If they have a role for you to play in their agenda. So who cares? Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that energy. I'm not going to resist. I'm going to focus on what? Making sure I'm clear on where it is I am and where it is I want to be. I'm going to be focusing on making sure I'm clear on what are my true weaknesses and my true strength. And I'm going to have a clear plan that has, that has me to leverage my strengths to close in that gap and making sure the plan has something to shore up my weaknesses. Right. Right. And then day to day, I'm going to be acting based on what it is I want to create, not based on where I'm at, because if I'm acting based on where I'm at, I'm going to stay where I'm at. Right. I can't I can't continue to act based on what got me here and think it's going to get me there. It's just that's not going to happen. Right. Not going to happen. And I'm going to make I'm going to make sure that I'm clear on what vehicle I'm using. And even if I get bored, I'm not going to be like a little distracted child and then just run off and do something else. I'm going to stick to it. Right. I'm going to become extraordinary at something. Being good at something is not enough today. Being great at something is not enough today. Excellence may get you in, but extraordinary is what's going to help you to win the game. All right? And then what? guess what? Every day, I'm going to be executing. All right, that's it, Facebook. I'm out of here. I wanted to just drop this on you real quick. I'm going to come back. I'm going to do a video on something that's going to help you with your business in the next few days, but not next week. All right, deuces, Facebook. Deuces!